In the last video I did, I simplified what active insufficiency was and explained it in a way that hopefully anybody can understand it. In this video, I'll do the same thing for passive insufficiency. Now, passive insufficiency is a lot easier to understand. If you want to stretch a muscle that crosses over more than one joint, you got to lengthen it at every joint that it crosses over. So I'll use the long head of the triceps to illustrate the point. Now, the long head of the triceps crosses over the shoulder joint, which some people might not know, and also crosses over the elbow joint. If you wanted to stretch that muscle, you got to lengthen it at the elbow joint and the shoulder joint. So the way you do this, you put your arm over your head, you bend your arm to the best of your ability, and your hand is going to fall somewhere behind your head. That is how you stretch the long head of the tricep, because it crosses over the shoulder joint and the elbow joint. If your elbow was at your side, and all you did was bend your elbow, what you would be doing is you would be stretching the single joint heads of the tricep, the lateral and the medial head, but you're bringing the long head closer to its mid-range. This is passive insufficiency. You want to stretch a muscle that crosses over more than one joint, you got to lengthen it at every joint that it crosses over. So that's an example of passive insufficiency. You like the information, share it. Click the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at. Support me. Subscribe to the channel. I'll keep bringing you the best information you're going to find as it relates to training to build muscle, get stronger, lose fat, look better, perform better, all that fucking shit.